Welcome back to Coding Kaiju, my name is Diego. Today I wanted to try something a little different. I want to talk about what's going on in the world of Godot. Tesla is hiring a Godot developer. Yes, that Tesla. Elon Musk Tesla. The position is titled as a software engineer, energy mobile, and web UI developer. In addition to Godot, the position requires experience with more standard web technologies like React. Obviously, some sort of hiring manager at Tesla is aware of the Godot engine, the great work the Godot team is bringing. I think everyone is curious about what Tesla will be using Godot for. Are they using Godot to make games, or are they going to use Godot to make mobile applications? And even if you have no intention of applying to this job, I think it's still really important news for you as a game developer. We've already seen large companies like Microsoft and Epic Games give huge donations to Godot in order to fund development. And I think this job position at Tesla further demonstrates that Godot is on the right track and still has a bright future ahead of it. A developer by the name of Joan Fons has been hired full time to work on the rendering side of Godot. They have already built the CPU light mapper which will be part of the Godot 3.2.4 release. Their first order of business will be to bring occlusion calling to Godot 4.0. Occlusion calling has been a highly requested feature for years as it brings huge 3D performance benefits. Basically, it calculates what objects in the game's world can actually be seen from the camera's perspective, and it only sends those objects to be rendered. It's a must-have feature for any 3D game with medium to large size levels. The Godot developers released a new interview, this time with the developers of the game Primal Light. It's a 2D action platformer that is available right now on Steam. The devs talk about their experience using Godot to make a commercial game. I'll link that interview down in the description as well as the Steam store page. There is a very interesting new proposal on Godot's GitHub, posted by none other than Redus himself, the lead developer of Godot. He describes the system to create a large amount of simple entities that behave as a group. He tentatively refers to it as a swarm slash mob slash flock system. Godot already has a particle system for very simple behaviors, but for things like a school of fish swimming or people walking around a city, you need behaviors that are more complex than what a particle system provides. There's a lot of good discussion on this proposal, I will also link it in the description. And it looks like this proposal is milestone for Godot 4.1, so we probably won't see anything come of it for more than a year. Still though, it definitely sounds like a feature many game developers would find useful. And finally, Rock RocketBots Rocket Bots is a game developed in the Godot engine. It's made by a developer by the name of Icebug. It's a fast-paced wave shooter. Your objective is to fight waves of robots using your trusty rocket launcher. Link is in the description. Three, two, one. Enemy. 